Nathan Chasing Horse pleading not guilty in court this morning. Yeah, this is a case we've been following very closely, which involves allegations of longtime sexual abuse. How do you plead to the 19 charges contained in that indictment? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. This is the first time Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasing Horse is appearing in Clark County District Court after being indicted by a grand jury who heard from two alleged victims. One of them saying long-term sexual abuse began when she was underage. The other saying he sexually assaulted her as an adult. He has no guilt. He has no guilt for it. No remorse, no feelings whatsoever. Representatives from the Las Vegas Indian Center in the courtroom to show support for alleged victims while Chasing Horse support are here as well. The 46-year-old is accused of heading a cult known as the Circle, claiming he's a medicine man and abusing indigenous women and children throughout the United States and Canada. People that I've known for years were just, you know, um, Hooking, their, hooking themselves to this guy like he was the messiah. Christopher Boyd heads the Fort Peck Journal, a newspaper in Montana. Chasing Horse was banned from the Fort Peck Reservation in 2015. The stories of him with underage girls has always been, you know, pretty well known. It's like an open secret, you know, that, uh, you know, a lot of places, you know, you can't figure out why he was never brought any charges or brought to against him sooner. In January, Chasing Horse was arrested at his North Las Vegas home where he lived with several wives. Do you think his time has come? I hope so. Chasing Horse remains in custody in downtown Las Vegas while advocates say they're offering support for any other potential victims. We will stand, we will stay here, we will fight. Chasing Horse also invoked his right to a speedy trial, so it is scheduled for April. That is soon, especially for a complex case like this. By the way, the Fort Peck Reservation isn't the one Chasing Horse has been banned from. He now faces federal charges along with warrants in Montana and Canada as more women are coming forward.